Effective searching depends on relevant keywords. And while we might be familiar with searching Google, academic searches behave a bit differently. This requires us to adjust our search techniques in order to find the scholarly sources we need for our research. This video will show you how to brainstorm keywords related to your research topic, how to easily find related terms online, and how to use them to search for scholarly sources. Now, let's say we're researching race and voting rights in the United States. For example, if we type it into Google, we get a whole lot of results, many of which aren't the most useful. When we type it into the library's search box, our results are limited. We need to strategize by eliminating unnecessary words, such as and, in, and the, and finding synonyms for our most important keywords, that is, words that mean the same thing. Why is this? Search engines don't understand context like we do. Authors might use a variety of terms, such as politician, representative, or elected official, which essentially mean the same thing, but a search engine only recognizes words exactly as we type them. A search for race might not give us articles which contain the word racism, and a search for African American might exclude articles which use the term black instead. And a search for voting rights will not account for important related terms, such as gerrymandering or disenfranchisement. We need to strategize by anticipating related terms, such as right to vote or suffrage, historic terms, such as 15th Amendment or Voting Rights Act, and other potentially relevant keywords, for example, discrimination or poll taxes. This opens up our options and increases our chances of finding sources which meet our needs. So let's take our research topic of race and voting rights in the United States, isolate the most important search terms, in this case, race and voting rights, and brainstorm some relevant related keywords. For the word race, for example, we might choose racial or racism, minority or minorities, marginalized, black, African American, Latino, Latina, Latinx, or Asian American. And for voting rights, we might choose vote or voter, election, enfranchisement, or suffrage. Let's also think of terms which reflect a specific angle of our topic. For example, voter ID, Voting Rights Act, or redistricting. One useful strategy is to pull up an article in Wikipedia, for example, or from an authoritative news outlet and look for terms they use in addition to relevant laws, events, etc. Now that we've considered some alternatives to our original keywords, we can start entering combinations of those terms into the search box. It'll likely take us more than one search to find the articles we need. However, this approach puts us in a good position to find sources relevant to our topic which might use slightly different words to arrive at the same meaning. Need some one-on-one -on -one help with brainstorming keywords or anything else related to your academic research? Don't hesitate to ask a librarian.